Hey guys, what's going on? Chad back here with you. And the whole purpose of this video is going to be um, to show a couple things. First, I wanted to check out uh, using uh, the Android tablet uh, for the screen capture uh, ability um, with the Phantoms since I can't do that and I usually fly with iOS devices. Um, the second reason is to show the power of Lightbridge 2 on the Phantom 3 Pro uh, compared to the OcuSync. Um, now this first flight here will be with the, the Phantom 3 Pro and uh, don't flip out that I'm in the red there. I am within five miles of a helipad for med flight and I am in contact with them whenever I fly. They tell me that as long as I'm not within a couple miles here, within one and a half, one to one and a half miles, that I'm cool as long as I keep it below eh, about 200 feet. <clears throat> but what I usually do is just kind of pop up over the trees and go back into there and where I'm going to fly and get some video and practice a lot of stuff. So just showing you here that I'm outside of the main circle. The big reason um, there was a guy on YouTube that was uh, showing that he was having problems with his Mavic's OcuSync after about 500 feet, um, which I've got about 14, 15 packs through my Mavic and I have no problems at all. Uh, with the OcuSync uh, technology. Um, you'll see from the video coming up after this, just uh, its ability to go and penetrate, um, which is kind of what I want to show here. Um, what I typically do, there's a row of houses back here, and there's some woods and the tree line, and the, the land kind of slopes up and then slopes back down. So it's a good opportunity to basically show a, a penetration and a distance uh, type of uh, flight. So it should be taken off here any second. Probably could have cut some of this out. And actually, I think what I'll do is speed this part of the video up. All right, so taking off with the Phantom 3 Pro here. Uh, nice day, about 55 to 60 degrees, uh, light wind. Um, this is usually my normal flight pattern. Um, just fly over a little bit of power lines there. All this property here is mine as well, all these trees. So, I'm just doing a little y'all movement just to kind of show you what kind of environment that I'm flying in, which is a uh, pretty open. Those are high voltage lines out there, which actually the Fan 3 Pro has no problem with, or at least does not detect them, but the Mavic does. So I typically need to climb a little bit higher with the Phantom 3 Pro um, to get back here. And then it will, I can drop down. Something kind of weird happens though coming up here. I've never had an actual flight problem with the Phantom, but it kind of started drifting a little bit there and I kind of lost... I don't know. I just kind of was, uh, it was just, you can really see what's going on there. I don't know if I was caught in some kind of, uh, some kind of wind or microburst or something or what, but it was really odd and it was only temporary. And you can see me kind of trying to duplicate it again, but everything was fine. So, I mean, I've put, Oh, well over a hundred packs onto this beast. 
So I just basically carried on here. I don't like to film a lot back here and practice with the lake and the trees and the colors and everything like that. Um, the little bit of lag or something that you might see right now um, is not coming from the Phantom. I believe it's coming from the screen recorder device. I didn't get any breakup until usually when I round this corner. So about a thousand, about twelve hundred, about a thousand to twelve hundred feet out, I can usually uh, go. But you can see I'm still kind of fighting this little odd issue that just uh, started happening all of a sudden. Don't really know what that was all about. So right there in the center is where I was coming from. So I was checking to uh, make sure I wasn't over anything and dropping the altitude down. I usually can't, usually have to have a hard deck of about 50 feet. I can't really go any lower than that with uh, the light bridge or it'll start uh, disrupting, you know, whether it's multipath coming off the ground or echoing off of these woods or, or whatever. Um, but uh, I'll fly out here pretty much to where I normally do and you'll be able to see uh, where the breakup and the HD and RC signals start to, to get bad. So keep an eye on the distance, which is coming up to 1,000 feet, and the height, which is around 56 feet. You can see things are starting to drop a little bit and it'll just all of a sudden really fall off a cliff coming up here and at this point I was getting hot and uh, had to turn around. All right here we are with the Mavic Pro and first thing I've I'm doing here is changing my uh, max flight distances and return and uh, height just because of all the recent issues that I've seen. I didn't want to uh, have that bad of a fly away or an ascent in case uh, something were to happen. <clears throat> Which those numbers are still pretty high. I see that they're in meters, so 200 meters is still uh, quite a way. Even though I have my return to home altitude set at 150 meters, so which is like 164 feet or something like that. So the biggest thing I do here before every flight is check my sensors, and as you can see, everything is green. You can see the compasses uh, kind of playing together. Um, and everything looks good to go. I've gotten into a habit of this before I fly, um, just to make sure that there's nothing crazy going on and they're not in the yellow or red or anything. Um, verifying my home point is correct, just because I've seen a couple people talk about it setting the home point incorrectly. So I just wanted to make sure that's all right. And uh, luckily the Mavic flights are uh, pretty quick. So it should be taken off here any second. Let it get up to 10 feet, and then you'll hear it snap and it'll take the picture. Obstacle avoidance is working. It's detecting the trees in front of it. Now it doesn't see him anymore. You 
can see the Mavic holes. Focusing. And you can see my height is really low, about the same we were during our phantom test. Um, so I actually um, have never pushed it lower until this actual video. So there's thousand feet we just passed full strength on everything so stop here 1500 feet almost and uh, showing you basically what I'm flying through and how far away as far as penetration goes um, so I think I lower down to about 35 32 feet something like that 40 feet I don't know. Yeah, I keep going. It's good. I try to get as low as I could safely without being too much of an idiot. So only 34 feet off the ground, penetrating everything. <clears throat> Believe it, I make it out to almost 2,000 feet here. Uh, you can see the signal dropping up there. I wanted to try to go back into that corner there to really try to block everything. But you can see just for testing purposes without pushing anything, uh, 2,000 feet, 35 uh, feet. As soon as I start raising my altitude, everything will go away. So once I hit about 60 feet, everything comes back. Hurt well, 100 and some feet, everything comes back perfect. So that pretty much shows you that you have to. Uh, Keep it high if you want to go up to that four and a half miles. So right here I start noticing something weird. See the craft rotating? I am not doing that. So that kind of concerns me because I'm like, hmm, that's never happened before. Um, do it again and you can see that it's rotating, yawing ever so slightly again. So at this point, I figure, well, let's go ahead. I got the test done, and uh, let's go ahead and bring it home and uh, see exactly uh, what what's going on there. So uh, we'll show you that here in one second. All right, so just... Uh, Landing here, showing I got everything back uh, just fine. Nice, quick little flight. Plenty of battery left over. Don't really remember what the flight time was. I'd have to look and see. So I'm going to I'm walking over and turning the thing off so I can look at the joystick calibration because uh can't do that whenever it's uh 
powered on whenever the actual Mavic is powered on. So you'll see that power off here in a second and I will switch it. It'll switch over to the actual tablet overlay here. So first here, I pull up uh, the remote, and if you look very closely, um, the numbers will be at zero. Turn it looks like I'm turning it off right now. Yeah. All right. I'm walking back over here. So if we look there, everything says it's a zero, but as soon as I hit start calibration, watch the left bottom number, the all on, on the, well that should be the throttle. Anyway, it was at 4%. And that would be 4% yawing to the left. So that's what it, saw so then I just had to go through the calibration here which the calibration on this thing is a pain in the ass I mean sometimes you you basically have to color in these lines you have to keep on going and going and going and going or sometimes and it even times out on you sometimes if you don't do it fast enough um, I actually had to do it twice here because it timed out on me but uh, I just wanted to show everybody that it looks like I have a little bit of a uh, that uh, joystick thing going on too and if you pull it up and look at your readings you might want to do that at the beginning as well as uh, when I like when you check your sensors kind of like I do to make sure that uh, everything's uh, snapping back and reporting to zero so anyway that's gonna do it for this video it's been a long one appreciate it got any questions let me know see you on the next one